Hello and welcome to another pack showcase video basically. So um, this pack is, uh, as you can tell by the titles, uh, Supernova 16X. Um, it's a purple theme pack sort of, a little bit of a little bit of blue in there, not, not really. I'm going to be making some recolors, there's no recolors at, at, at this time, I'll probably be making them after the video. So yeah, enjoy. Before we start the pack, uh, before I show you guys the stuff of the pack as you can already see, um, you may notice I'm actually not on Lunar because for some reason Lunar has not been working recently, it's kind of annoying, but I'm back on, back on Forge like I used to be. Five zig mod, haha. <laughs> yep, back on forge. Um, so I guess to start, I guess uh, we have the um, swords, right? They're they're pretty pretty basic, honestly. Same thing. Um, the little uh, thing at the end, I don't know what they're called. They're different. I made a different shape, and there's like a wood texture on the inside, as you can see. Especially for the diamond. A lot of the ones you can barely even see. There's a thingy, but I think for the the diamond one, you can definitely tell. There's like a little wood piece in there. Yep. So as you can see, armors pretty cool. Um, armors are a bit different shape. Like the leggings, similar to um, what's it called, Turtle Beach, they have like a different shape, but also the bottom, I really like that, like the pointy thing. And then the, sh uh, the not the shoes, the boots, they have a little uh, angle th from the back to the front, like that. And then the chest plates are a little taller, slash longer, whatever. Same thing with the helmets, they're all a little little tweaked shape, actually. So you have the diamond, diamonds are purple, it's a purple theme pack, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, I kind of like these armors, they're pretty cool. And then um, they have leather armor. With the buttons and stuff. Okay, so next we have I'll probably do the tools first. So we have all the tools and all all like tools basically. They have the little uh, pointy thing, whatever it's called at the, at the end. Someone tell me in the comments. I don't know what they're called, but all of them have it, as you can see. Um, only the shovels and swords normally have it. Now every every tool has it. Um, they look pretty cool, I guess. Uh, we have the the wooden. We have stone. I'm not gonna grab all these. I'll just uh, F one. Here you go. So we have the the different tools. We got wooden, stone. Uh, iron, gold, and then diamond. Right, there we go. Um, yeah, axes are. I really like the axes, honestly. And then we have the gapples. Gapples are definitely one of the be better things from Twilight Zone. There's a lot better. Bottles are a little bit purplish instead of uh, instead of blue like they normally are. Same thing here. We have the same in, um, XP bottles as uh, Twilight Zone. Yep. Bows. They're purple. They're pretty dark, honestly. And they have the feather in the back, like um, like Turtle Beach. Wait, not Turtle Beach. Oh my God, sorry. That's uh, he's a server. Turtle Shell. Also, you guys might have seen Sky. <gasps> Surprise! Oh my God. But they have the feather in the back like they're supposed to. I really like that. It's pretty cool. Then we have the buckets. They're mostly similar. Water is a little different in this pack. I made it like clearer and a little uh, more aquaish rather than rather than blue. Um, but yeah. And the same thing you can tell there. The flint and steel is always the same. The fishing rods, um, the actual like rod itself is black and like completely like black and white. Basically, you can barely see the little texture at the bottom. Most of it's black though, and then the rest is purple, of course, with a purple bobber and everything. Fire, fire charges, purple. Uh, pearl is a little similar to Twilight Zone, although it's completely custom. And then you have the Eye of Ender, which is uh. It's, it's kind of ugly, honestly. I'm not really good at making eyes, eyes of Ender. Uh, another thing is actually, this is technically a Mixel. Mixel texture. Oh my god, they have Mixels. Um, it's technically 32x, because I wanted to center it. Um, so, credit to Squid Eevee from the from the Vanilla Tweak server. So, I was trying to... Um, they made a pack that basically centers... Um, they center the, the Ender Pearls to... Um, Ender Pearls and Eyes of Ender 1.16 uh, to, you know, be centered, not like offset, which is kind of weird. Um, which is really cool. I love that pack. I'm gonna use. I'm sorry, using it now. But the the issue is that I tried to I tried to remake it in 1.8 and um, didn't work out. So kind of just scratched that anyway. Um, but this works. I just uh I you know made it twice the size of the the texture. And I just centered it. So yeah, you're not gonna notice it honestly. But it's it just like it's so much nicer to the eye. And yeah, so that's that. Um, woods mostly the same. Wool. Yeah, woods all the same as Twilight Zone. Wool. My signature epic wool. I really like it. So then we have our lava fire. You know, fire is purple. Pretty sure I already showed that. We have the thing. Then we have um the uh, different the GUI. Um, so for some reason in Forge, uh, the uh, as you can see, the um little uh, hot bar number is uh still green. It does change. I've tested it in Optifine. It does work. Um. I'll put confirmation on the screen right now. There you go, it works. Um, the hot bar, I mean the hunger bar, it is purple as well. I think you can see that. I don't know why. This is one of the reasons I switched to Lunar, but Lunar's not working now. I hope they fix it. There's apparently no fix for it yet. But uh, yeah, GOIs and everything, they're all purplish. Pretty cool. And then you have the armor and health and everything. So yeah, 
Um, we have the diamonds and purple. Everything else is pretty much the same as my other packs, including the coal and everything. We have the beds. Beds are pretty cool. We have the torches, particles, um, enchantment particles, beds. Uh, I really like the ender chest. They have like a little slot. It's kind of like slotted in there for the eyes, of the purple eye of ender. And I really like that. And then you have, you know, enchant table. GUI buttons are also different. I really like them. They're pretty cool. And uh, I think that's almost that's pretty much it here for this stuff. But there's more. We have the blocks. Um, they're all the same except for the TNT, which is purple, similar to Zizo's Turtle Shell 16x pack. And then one of the most interesting things. This is really cool. The sky. I'm so excited about this. Honestly, the sky is so epic. I used a, a software known as uh, called Space Game. You can search it up. You can use that. It's really cool. And I made the sky. We have the clouds. Uh, this daytime sky is a little eh. Honestly, but I like it. It's it's okay. But the best part is probably the nighttime, which is so epic. I'm just like really like it quite a lot. And then uh, we also have the sunset sky, um, which is this. So yeah. Um, another thing is we have um, the sun and moon. I retextured them. The sun has like a little cool like glow around the edges. I think it's I believe I believe it's called the Corona. That's that's why coronavirus is called that. But that's not besides the point. Okay, the moon is pretty basic, honestly. Uh, it does. I do have the different phases for it. It's just this world's really sort of young, honestly. Um, we have the little bit of texture on the sun. It's mostly just yellow and stuff. So yeah, there's the sun and the moon and stuff. Nighttime, the daytime, sun's up there or something. You can barely see it. And then uh, sunset, really cool. Um, another thing is I'll also be re releasing this um the sky overlay along with the sun and moon like as a separate pack. It'll also be in the description. Uh, however, also I'll also be making a six uh not 16x a 1.16 version. It's also gonna be in the also gonna be in the description. So yeah, if you guys if you want that, it's in there. Um, but also one thing is I'm seeing also quite a lot. So if you're if you're playing on a world that has like you know normal terrain, it's not like a void. Like you're not playing Sky Wars or Bed Wars or place that has like a void. If you're playing on a place that has a normal like a world that has normal terrain, you can actually turn on the sky, which cuts it off. But a cool thing is that it blocks like the um the orange glow over there. As you can see, I'll put a screenshot on screen from 1.16. It looks a lot nicer, so you could you should use that if you have a world that's not void like this. But if you do have a worldless void, you should probably turn it off because you know the normal sky. You should turn it off because otherwise it's gonna cut there. It looks really ugly, so it goes down all the way if you turn off the sky. I'll probably be playing with the um the the sun and moon off for now, but I might change my mind later on. But yeah. also another thing is reminder. Turn off uh, the clouds. You should always turn off the clouds because they just look really ugly. <laughs> Remember, if you're using a sky overlay, your new sky overlays, that's one thing you should probably turn off. Turn off your clouds. And remember, this is only going to work with Optifine. That's the most important. That's, I think that's one of the most like the biggest disclaimer, honestly. Also, it's only going to work with Optifine. So yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this pack. I'm going to be making uh, recolors. So let me uh, let me know in the comments what you guys want, which colors. I'll be definitely making a dark green like a deep green unlike the um the tealish aqua green whatever i made for twilight zone it said it's going to be a dark deep green um i'll also be making a default recolor it's probably gonna be my new pack because twilight zone is kind of lame now and um yeah let me know in the comments what other colors you want i'm considering not making a blue recolor but i mean if you guys want that let me know in the comments and any other colors as well i'll probably making like anywhere from three to five recolors so yeah see you guys later gamations out